it's August 10th, 2021. We're here at George Barris's landmark custom shop in North Hollywood, California, and it's for sale. From this shop, some of the most iconic cars from the 1950s and 60s were created. The most famous of which, of course, was the Batmobile. In the mid-1960s, Bill Cushenberry's shop was just a few blocks away. And it was in that shop, Cushenberry shop, where the Batmobile actually got its start. Here's a little known true story that George Barris and Dick Dean shared with me at the NHRA show in Pomona, California in 2008. I got one thing to say about Cushenberry, which I call him Cushy. To me, he was the best customizer in our group. He was one of the best idea design guys too. He was terrific. Bill was absolutely unbelievable. Tell you how good Cushy was? I've still got the t-shirt. I had him do all the fenders on our Batmobile. The car was all metal. I said, Cushy, I need help. I said, we got to get this thing done in three weeks. I'll be there, George. And he shaped those fenders out. We enjoyed everything about Cushy. Uh, to me, every car that he's done was the best. The workmanship was a craftsman. He was a quality man. And the best part, he was fun. The great fun guy. He was, again, the top of the top of the heap. Yeah. Very, very good metal shaper and worker. Very particular. Um, odd hours, though. He liked to put in hours at midnight till six in the morning and things like. And I just wasn't used to that. But I went along with him because I loved the guy. I mean, he just very nice to work with and easy and a lot of people don't know this the Batmobile when it was first started was the Lincoln Futura and it got sent over to Bill's shop with the artwork to start I worked on uh, that aluminum car you were talking about I worked on that with him but I, I just couldn't get along with his hours but I went along with him because I loved the guy yeah. In that same North Hollywood shop where Bill shaped the fenders for the Batmobile, he also continued working on the Space Coupe. A one of a kind, hand built aluminum custom car he began in his Monterey, California shop in 1963. Bill moved to a new shop in Burbank and he left his Space Coupe behind, thinking he would get it back and finish it. That never happened and the car went missing for 33 years. The Space Coupe was found in terrible condition in 1999 on a ranch in Southern California. It was hauled to Daryl Starbird's Rod and Custom Museum in Oklahoma and patched up a bit. No restoration, but enough to display. In 2008, the Space Coupe returned to Southern California and our team began the restoration. End of the year, we put the car in storage intending to resume in 2009. That didn't happen, and work on the car was postponed for nine years. Since 2018, a terrific new team has done an amazing job restoring and completing this historic one-of-a-kind custom car from the 1960s. After all these years, Bill Cushenberry's long-lost space coupe is closing in on completion. <laughs>